winning right. and that the team knew that he was singularly focused on that and that's what drove every decision that he made. Yeah, yeah definitely a lot of cohesion with the Dolphins. So uh, very surprising, I think, for everyone to see Brian Flores out this morning. But uh, look, we look at Chicago, Matt Nagy, him being fired. That comes as a surprise to nobody that's yeah. been being talked about for weeks. So, Dan, what's your reaction to them finally making the decision to not only move on from Nagy, but also the GM? Failure to have the vision to understand that Justin Fields and his development was the most important thing this year. Mm -hmm. Failure to actually do that. Yeah. That's why both of these men got fired. You moved up to go get Justin Fields, and then you don't play yeah. him. And then when you do play him, there's not a significant amount of development in yes. what is he good at? What does he thrive in? Mm -hmm. What are the things that we don't do? And I said it in week one when they rolled out with that game plan against the Cleveland Browns. It was a joke. Yeah. And that showed me either an intentional thing or an incompetence thing. I, w I wish Matt Nagy nothing but the best. And hopefully he lands on his feet with the same with Ryan Pace. This is not that great of a job, candidly, because right. while you have a superstar talent at quarterback, you're decimated with picks because mm -hmm. of that decision to go get him, and the roster's not that healthy, and that yeah. defense is getting older. Well, the, the big thing to me is if you're Ryan Pace, you make the draft pick of Mitchell Trubisky, you bring in Matt Nagy to develop him, and that's a failure, right? So that's a strike against Matt Nagy and also the GM, Ryan Pace. Now you move up to draft Justin Fields. One, you don't start him right away. Right. And then when he does get the opportunity to start, there is no plan in place to take advantage of the things that he can do well. 100%. Right? We don't use his legs. We don't have the quarterback run. We don't put him in situations to where we could see the arm talent from a position bad. of success. Right. And so when you have those things happening, this was a foregone conclusion. You know, many people thought it would happen earlier, but I think we all expected after the season ended yesterday that this would be a move the Chicago Bears would make. Yeah, I think at the very beginning of the season, uh, once they decided not to start Justin Fields, I think everybody was already looking at the head coach, you know, asking what exactly what are, we doing? are exactly what are you Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.